Hello everyone and in this video we're going to explore five amazing ways to use Perplexity Spaces which is a new feature by Perplexity that offers a dedicated environment to organize your research by project or topic making it easy to manage your threads and files and Perplexity as you know is a free AI powered search engine and it provides clear answers to any questions that are backed by real-time internet data so in order for us to get started we will go to where it says spaces and you'll see that we have an interface here that says create a space. So once you click on that, you'll see that you need to add the title of your space, a description and some custom instructions. So for my first use case, I want to create a space that's going to be a personalized learning hub for any skill or topic that I want to learn about. Learning hub for digital marketing skills. And in the description, I'm just going to add everything I need to learn about digital marketing. You'll notice here that there's an option to add your custom instructions. So I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And and once we go into the interface, I will show you how we can add the custom instructions there. So we're going to continue. And then you can see now that our learning hub for digital marketing has been created. So I'm going to go into that space. Once you're in that space, you'll see this interface where you can start adding your prompts and creating your new threads. And then you'll see here that you have the option to add your instructions here. You can add your files here as well. And in order for us to add the custom instructions over here, what I like to do is I like to go to chat GPT and then ask it to give me the custom instructions for the project that I want. So for example, in this case, I'm going to say here in ChatGPT, give me custom instructions that will guide perplexity to gather practical resources, tutorials, summaries, and exercises that will help in creating a personalized learning hub for learning digital marketing skills. I'm going to enter that. Okay, and you can see it's come back with custom instructions for perplexity. And here it's given an objective, compile practical resources that provide clear actionable insights. And then the focus areas, core skills, practical resources, learning exercises, content types. They can be summaries and tutorials, uh, tool tutorials, format and structure, and so on. So I'm just going to copy all these instructions. And I'm just going to go back to perplexity and where it says add here under the instructions, I'm going to add my um, custom instructions and then I'm going to update. And you can see that now my custom instructions have been added. Now, the other thing that I want to do is where it says files here is I'm going to upload two files that are going to be relevant to learning digital marketing skills. So I've got here the digital marketing guide and a beginner's guide as well. So I'm going to add these to perplexity files okay and now you can see that the files have been added now once these are added now i can start gathering the information and creating the resources for my learning hub for digital marketing skills and here i'm going to start with my first prompt so I'm going to say here, using the two detailed guides I've uploaded, help me create a structured learning journey in digital marketing by identifying foundational skills to focus on initially, along with the most effective ways to learn and practice each. Okay, and you can see that now it's used the information that I've already provided. So it says based on the information provided in the digital marketing strategy guides, I've created a structured learning journey, and then it focuses on foundational skills. And we can see here that it's got the core concepts, it's got the learning approach. It's now identified the skills that I need to focus on and so on. And you can see up here that the sources it's used to extract the information are file one and file two. And it's actually now gone to supplement that with additional information. And you can see that on the side here, it's actually come back with some images as well that I can use. And so for the next prompt, we're going to focus on expanding this learning hub by getting perplexity to do what it's really good at, which is searching the web to extract the sources and information that we need. So I'm just going to add a prompt here that says, find beginner friendly resources, explain the fundamental concepts of digital marketing, focus on articles, videos, or guides that break down each topic into easy to understand steps and provide the link to each resource. Now you can see it's come back with the digital marketing guide for beginners and I've got the link to the resource here. And if I click on that, I've got then digital marketing 2024, the complete guide for beginners. And I've got a full web page here with the guide. And then if I go back, I've got the HubSpot's beginner guide to digital marketing, come back with a relevant YouTube video that I can use. So it's got the complete beginner's guide to marketing, which is the YouTube video and so on. And so this is now beginning to compile the resources that 
that I can use in my Learning Hub project. I can keep on adding information to this uh, space. So if you want to refresh your memory about all the information that you've compiled so far, you can come back and you can say summarize the content in this thread. And then what you'll see is that it will give you a summary of that information. So structured learning journey in digital marketing, beginner friendly resources that we've compiled, the top online courses and tutorials, the top skills in digital marketing and so on. So having that devoted space to progress in your learning and to have all the relevant links as well and to be able to upload your files is an amazing thing to do with perplexity spaces. So let's move on to the second use case. So I'm going to go back to spaces and now I'm going to create a new space. And this one is going to be analyzing YouTube videos and also on a specific topic. So I'm just going to have here public speaking. Okay, and this is just going to be space to analyze YouTube videos that are focused on improving public speaking skills. And then you can add the description. Again, we can add the custom instructions. So I'm just going to just add here, summarize each video and provide the key takeaways. Just a simple custom instruction for this one. Again, I'm going to go back to my uh, space that I've created. So I'm just going to add a prompt here that says analyze the YouTube videos linked below and summarize the main topic, key points, top takeaways, and skills highlighted in concise sections. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to copy the links of the top YouTube videos that I can find on this subject. And then I'm just going to paste the links. In okay, so you can see that I've now added here links to four different YouTube videos and I'm going to enter that. Okay, and what you can see, and I think Perplexity does an absolutely amazing job with analyzing videos, it's come back with the first video, it's given me the key points in the videos, it's given me the top takeaways, it's given it's highlighted the skills that we need to focus on, it's done the exact same thing with the second video, the third video, and the fourth video, and then once I've compiled all the information, I have all the key takeaways and insights from the materials, especially in this case in the videos that I have analyzed, what I can say is summarize the main points from the thread above and provide me with a list of actionable skills to practice. Okay, and then what it does is that it uses the information from the videos that I've already analyzed, and then it gives me a list of actionable skills to practice. And for the third use case, we're going to be using it to research emerging trends and innovations. And you can do this for any topic. But what makes perplexity really strong in this is, again, it's access to the uh, web and to the latest information. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to call this um, space trends and innovations in healthcare. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it custom instructions. And what I'm going to say here is always use the latest research and statistics and use credible sources. And I'm going to continue. And then again, I've now got my new space that will focus on trends and innovations on AI in healthcare. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a prompt that says, give me the latest research, data, statistics, and trends on AI and healthcare. Only use information from reputable and influential sources. I'm going to enter that. Okay, and you can see now it's come back with the market growth and adoption. It's got the key application areas. Again, we've got the sources for all the information that it's extracted. It talks about the emerging trends, and then it gives me the sources that it's taken that from, challenges and considerations. And then I can have an option to um, add all my related questions here. And then what I like to do once I've compiled the information and say, create a presentation outline using all the information in the thread and add key statistics and figures. You can see now that it's now come back with the full presentation outline and it's given me the key statistics as well. And I've got all the relevant information that I need for my presentation. Also generates a number of sources as well and the charts and graphs that I can use to support the information. Okay, for the next use case, we are going to use it for product analysis. So here I'm going to call this space laptop product analysis and i'm just going to leave the description and the custom instructions empty for now and i'm going to enter the space laptop product analysis and here i'm going to add a prompt compare the top laptops in 2024 and provide me with the best features and if you notice that i've got the pro switch toggled on and i'm going to enter that okay and you can see that it's come back with a detailed table that has different models 
the process aspects, the RAM, the storage display, GPU, battery life, uh, and the price. And then it's going to give me all the details. And again, for every single one, it's given me the reference of where it's obtained that information from. And I can go into and look at each one in detail. And then based on the table provided in the search result, analyze the top laptops in 2024 and their best features. And then it gives me a summary of all the best ones over here. So I could just follow up here. And I've said here, based on the above, recommend the best laptop. And then it's come back and recommend this one and it's just mentioned a few um, details on why it thinks this is the best one. and the reason I would have a space for this thread rather than just having a, a general prompt on perplexity is then that I could start to compare different features I can add all the information here and then like we saw in the previous use cases I could then ask a final question that asks it to recommend or to summarize the different parts of the thread Okay, so the next way we're going to be using spaces is that we're going to be using it to create a dedicated space for blog analysis. And we're going to use the space to extract the key information and keywords from a topic that we're focusing on. So I'm just going to call this space blog analysis on intermittent fasting. I'm just going to leave the description and the custom instructions blank for now. And then I'm going to press continue. And you can again see that my space has now been created. So once I have the space, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Perplexity, what are the top blogs on intermittent fasting? Provide me with the links and the summary of the main topics in each one. And you can see it's come back with the top blogs. So I've got Calo blog and then I've got the link here. And I can always go to the link and check that it's a valid link. So you can see that here it's a valid link. It's got the information on intermittent fasting. And then I've got the Horizon Internal Medicine blog and so on. And then it's come back with the main topics that are covered in this blog and what it discusses for each one, which is really useful. So once I've got that information, you can add the follow up question here that says analyze these blogs and provide me with the key insights. And you can see it's come back with the definition methods, the health benefits, the considerations and potential risks, some practical implementations, the emerging research around these topics. And then I can start to use these different topics to, to craft my own ideas. So you can just add a prompt here that says, what are the main keywords used in these blogs? And you can see that it comes back with a list of 30 different keywords that are really relevant to this topic and that have been used in these blogs that you can start use in your own writing. And if you want it to be even more specific, what you can do is you can ask it to focus only on the niche keywords from these blog posts. And then you can see it's come back with a number of different words as well that are more niche and more specific to the topic. And once you have all the information, what you can ask it to do from the above, create an outline for a blog post on intermittent fasting. It starts to give us a detailed outline based on the information that we have covered in the thread. So you've got the introduction, you've got the understanding, the 5-2 diet, and so on, a full outline. And then as a follow-up, you can even start to actually write that blog post as well. So I can ask it here to write the introduction using the relevant keywords above. And you can see that it's already started writing the introduction. So having your space on analyzing blog posts on a specific topic is really useful because then you can track what topics you've covered, what keywords you've already addressed, and then you can start to create a schedule for different topics that are relevant to this overall topic, but that tackle specific areas within that umbrella topic. So I find this has really organized the way I work, has helped me integrate useful information. And as you saw, everything we did in this video is using the free version. You have the option to upgrade and get even more features from uploading even more files, from getting perplexity itself to transform that information into blog posts for you. So there's so many things that you can do. I really recommend that you start using Perplexity Spaces. You give it a go. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.